There's been plenty of action for anglers this week, with one even bagging a bucket list fish off our coast. Here's Mark Lacra to tell us where they're biting. Well, the weather's been amazing, and there's been plenty of fishermen getting out there and enjoying it. And they've been bringing home a nice feed of fish as well. Here's where they're biting. There's been lots of activity in the metro area on our bread and butter species. Casting lures at Mewstones has produced lots of fun-sized chopper tailor, while Curtis Waterman had a day out this morning landing a herring every cast on his Helco Twisty over at Karnak Island. Over at Rottnest, there's been heaps of smaller Samson fish, along with the odd yellowtail kingfish on the inshore reefs. Sand whiting can be found offshore from City Beach in around 15 metres of water, and the odd King George can still be found out from Ocean Reef on the broken ground in around 12 metres of water. Locally, the craze have slowed down over the full moon, but we should start to see some whites caught in the next few weeks, with another great season predicted. From shore, Taylor and Herring have been fishing well from our northern beaches, and from the Nine News Facebook page, thanks to Connie for sending in this great picture of her dad with his superb catch of Taylor from Yanship. There are also lots of whiting around in the swan, with bait fishing proving to be the way to go, as they haven't been taking surface lures just yet. Mulloway are starting to move up the river, with the odd smaller fish being picked up on lures, and there's also been a few giant herring caught this week. Up in our northwest, the creeks from Caratha all the way to Broome are firing with mangroves jacks, threadfin salmon and barramundi all biting as the water temperatures start to rise. And up at Exmouth, Andre Ryan was lucky enough to land his first blue marlin this week, while out with Eddie from Peak Sport Fishing cracking fish that we'd all like to tick off the bucket list. Mark Lacra, Nine News.